I went to go for a ride the other afternoon and yeah, she didn't. Um, might have mentioned I've been getting a few error codes. Anyway, let's dig into it. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Afternoon all. Been a bit of a fire out this way recently. Thought I'd come and check it out. This has been coming up a bit recently. So I had a 42 and then a couple of times one of my mates rode it, he had the same thing. And then a couple of 30s and then finally um, when I turned it off and turned it on again, I got the dreaded 35, which apparently means your controller's had it. Uh, the next day it decided that um, it was going to play the game with me a little bit better and it went back to normal but Pushing the bike backwards and forwards It's giving me a lot of resistance I um, did a quick oil change uh, just for the hell of it and uh, look, I think the sticking is the motor. Um, if you haven't heard, Talari has uh, put out some new guidelines regarding oil changes. Um, it's only literally you know, 90 mil that you need and you only got to do it every 5,000 miles after the original break-in. Uh, in kilometers, that's what, you know, 8,000 kilometers. Uh, good news for you know people who are complaining about the gearbox. Anyway, hasn't caused me any drama so far. It takes ten minutes, but what it leads me to is I'm pretty sure I got a problem with the motor. We pulled the cover off, had a bit of a look, and a few times in here I found a bit of condensation, and I've just cleaned it out so far. But the, well, the second time wasn't a bit, it was a lot of condensation. Um, got an idea what I might cause that, but yeah, ask me in the comments if you want. So I decided that based on the fact that I've maybe got another project that I wouldn't mind using one of these motors for, I thought I'd go and have a look how much new ones were. And while I was there, some stuff happened. There's not much price difference between the new and uh, the new Talaria R motor 
and the original Talaria MX3 motor. Uh, apparently it's a much better motor than you are. So I had a look at the controller options because you may as well use it. And that led me down a bit of a rabbit hole. Let's just say eight kilowatts is not out of the question. Anyway, thought I'd keep you posted. See you soon.